For this first screencast, we're going to take a look at the words point, line, plane, and space because they're fundamental to learning many things in geometry. Uh, first of all, these words are considered to be undefined terms because they are um, hard to define. Um, a point, if you think about it, actually has no size, and a, which means a point is zero dimensional. So if you think about drawing a point, we really can't draw a point if it has no size, but in a diagram, we draw a dot, and then we indicate that this would be point A by putting a capital letter A there. A line um, is an infinite length, you can think of a line as being an infinite number of points strung together. Uh, so it has no length um, and it is one dimensional. So technically when we draw a line it should have no thickness because that would make it two dimensional. So a line is one dimensional. And to show that it goes on forever in opposite directions we draw arrows on the ends of the line. And here I'm calling this line AB. And this script letter L is showing we could refer to this as line L. Um, a plane is flat, like a piece of paper. It extends infinitely in all directions. Extends in all directions. And that makes it two-dimensional, so I'll write 2D. Now, to draw a plane, we just want to draw what almost looks like a parallelogram. And then we can put the letter uh, M here if we want to call this plane M. We just put the letter M um, inside that parallelogram. So this is two-dimensional. Um, a table would be um, a representation of a plane or a piece of paper. But once again, tables and papers are really not correct representations because they have thickness associated with them. Uh, so points are zero-dimensional, lines one-dimensional, plane two-dimensional, and when we talk about space, we're talking about the set of all points. So we have length, width, and height, we're talking about three-dimensional, and there's no representation for that. Collinear points, if you think about what co means, co means together, and collinear points are points that are on the same line. So we might draw something like this, and these points, all three of these points are on the same line. So if collinear points are on the same line, non-collinear points are not on the same line. So if you know one definition, you know the other, you get two for the price of one. So non-collinear points are points that are not on the same line, and these three points obviously are not on the same line. Coplanar points are points that are on the same plane. So to represent that, we would draw a plane by drawing our parallelogram shape and just put the points on the same plane. So these are three non-collinear points because they're not on the same line, but they are coplanar points because they are on the same plane. And non-coplanar points are points that are not on the same plane. So to represent that, I might actually draw two parallelograms, one above the other, to show two different planes. And then put one point here and another point down here to show that those are not on the same plane. Uh, these planes actually almost look like they're drawn to be parallel, meaning that they, they don't uh, intersect. So now that we've talked about points, lines, planes, and space, um, we need to talk about the intersection of a line and a plane. So let's draw a plane. Um, let me actually draw it with the parallelogram tool. So here's our plane. And now we're going to have a line intersect this. 
Now technically this isn't a line the way I've got it drawn here because it needs to have arrows to draw a line. So let's put some arrows on this. So if you think about this, think about this as though you're jabbing a pencil through a piece of paper. And if you jab a pencil through a piece of paper and then pull out the pencil, you're left with a big hole. So basically what that is saying is that the intersection of this line with this plane is this point. So the intersection of a line and a plane is a point. Well, what do we get if two planes intersect? Now, this one I'm going to draw by hand because this one's a little trickier. Um, actually, I'll draw the first parallelogram. So let's draw the first plane. Here's the first plane. And then I'm going to draw another plane intersecting with that first plane. And this is a little bit hard to see, but the intersection of these two planes is a line. Think about um, a ceiling and a floor where they intersect. The ceiling and the floor intersect and form a line. I'll actually demonstrate this um, in class with two intersecting file folders. But the intersection the intersection of two planes is a line. Now there is one thing here that, that would make this better and that's if I actually had arrows drawn on here to show that this is a line. But if you think about it, the planes go on infinitely so the intersection will go on infinitely. This is plane M and this is line L and this is plane N. Okay, what you need to do now is go back to the back of your handout, to the next page, and try to do these true-false questions and enter the answers to those at um, the web address I give you, the tiny URL, Natero, um, Honors Geometry, Chapter 1, Section 2.